Hey, welcome back to the new news. As we look to those ag headlines here at the start of the week, we see that Montana leads the nation in hemp production with more than 40,000 acres planted here in 2019. But there are still hurdles that hinder farmers in Montana and across the nation. Senator John Tester has penned a letter to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network on updating its hemp-related guidance. Tester is demanding that they comply with federal law and cease prohibiting local banks from accepting funds related to hemp farming. FinCEN is among the last regulators to implement year-old laws allowing farmers to produce hemp. Their delay has prevented many financial institutions from banking hemp due to fear of enforcement action from the organization. Tester is urging the entity to cut red tape barriers for the nation's hemp farmers and businesses immediately. In other news now, the explosion at the Cargill's Dodge City, Kansas processing facility that occurred last week has only temporarily shuttered operations at the plant. The explosion was at a building that processes blood into blood meal, a feed additive of course, and not at the main facility. Two workers were injured in the blast and the company expects their cattle receiving aspect of the operation to be back and running uh, starting here today actually. Since the explosion, cattle ready for harvest have been sent to Cargill facilities at other locations. And of course this comes as USDA continues its investigation into possible market manipulation after the Tyson plant fire in Kansas back in September. Don't go too far, we'll have more news right after this.